So um, we are financed by the Baltic Sea Region Program from 2012 to 2014. And we have 17 direct partners and four associate partners. And in total, eight uh, Baltic Sea states are engaged in the project. Our goal is to increase awareness and uh, use of large-scale research, research infrastructures um, to, to uh, improve knowledge exchange between industry and science in order to support and encourage, uh, encourage innovation and entrepreneurship in the region and to strengthen the region's competitiveness uh, in a global context. We are working together with all large-scale research infrastructure in the Baltic Sea region, which are um, DESI, Deutsches Elektronensynchrotron in Hamburg, and uh, Helmholtz Zentrum Berlin, Helmholtz Zentrum GSH, and Max4 Laboratory in Lund in South Sweden. And we are collaborating with three future research infrastructures which will be built uh, in the next years. So what can you do with neutron and photon facilities? Um, both synchrotron light and neutrons are used for imaging and advanced analysis, similar to ordinary X-rays, but in much higher detail. All states of matter can be studied at the synchrotron or neutron facility, gas, uh, liquid, solid, and plasma. So you have very uh, various uh, methods and instruments you can use there. <coughs> As example, what you could achieve uh, with this kind of measuring, you can analyze material properties at very varying environmental conditions and process stages. And you can do non-destructive testing of sensitive components. And you can determine molecular structures in life science, for example. So we have offered uh, to industry in the Baltic Sea region in three open calls, possibility for free measurements in the frame of the project using all this research infrastructure which are participating in the project. And um, first call we had nine proposals, in the second 22 and in the third already 36. So in total we have 48 companies which we have already accepted for uh, measurements and nine are still in consultation. So in our opinion that is uh, quite a success. In the beginning we assumed that there would be need, uh, companies would be interested in this kind of offer and we have now learned that this is really is like that. <coughs> so we offer this uh, access to the large-scale facilities as a one-stop shop, so-called one-stop shop. So we help, they have established structures for supporting the companies and um, we evaluate in the beginning of this uh, project is feasible. We assist in the experimental setup, and they are the experiments are perform performed by experts. We assist in analyzing um, of the results, so the company will uh, works closely with scientists in their uh, field of um, uh, specialization. <coughs> These are the results. So we have had companies from all countries around the Baltic Sea region. Um, <coughs> the share is of um, very differ different. We, you, you can see in the first um, uh, um, picture. So the most companies came from Sweden and Poland. And next after that, uh, Finland, Latvia, no Lithuania and um, Germany and even one from Norway. Uh, we had in Sweden and Poland very good working marketing uh, concept and structure, so that explains why there are so, so many uh, more companies from Sweden. The share between the large scale infrastructure was about <coughs> equal. There are still some measurements coming, so uh, I think in the end we will have there 25% in each. Uh, for participating facility. And in the picture um, below you can see 
uh, uh, all the branches from which the applications came. So there is also a broad branch of, uh, of uh, different areas from construction and engineering and material science and technology where the most applications came, but then even home and personal care and agriculture and food science. What we have <coughs> Uh, noticed or found out that there is definite a need for such, uh, such uh, access schemes helping industry in their research and development work and that the interest uh, from R&D strongly depends on internal structure of the companies. Um, there is rather limited knowledge about uh, methods available and industry really needs problem solving, not just pure beam time. So you need the supporting structures around. You need the experts who help them to prepare and analyze the results. Uh, you need more consultation local. So you need local scientific partners who help them to prepare the applications and so on in the native language. That's also uh, uh, important. And last but not least, uh, there are not enough time, beam time slots for industrial use at these last, large uh, scale facilities. <coughs> Here are some examples how, like, um, about how different the projects are which are carried out uh, in ScienceLink. So there's a Latvian cosmetics company uh, performed XRD at easy at uh, different temperatures to determine the stability of lipstick samples at very cold and very warm temperatures. <laughs> so maybe for the first female astronauts or something <laughs> useful. The Balto PI Center of uh, Family Medicine in Lithuania used synchrotron infrared spectroscopy at Max Lab to investigate the correlation between chemical structure of urinary sediments and kidney stones. And then a third example, a Swedish solar cell technology called Solvoltaics has used photoelectron emission micro microscopy at Max Lab to investigate the surface chemistry of nanowires for use as solar cell elements. Just to give a picture how, how um, different the projects have been. <clears throat> so in summary, we are bringing science to industries and industries to science. It's an opportunity to access some of the leading research facilities and to use the scientific resources at hand and to contribute to innovation within and the competitiveness of the Baltic Sea region in a global context. And last but not least, we will have our next conference in Hamburg on 27 of February. So if you are interested, save the date. Thank you.